So this is a holy brown. It basically consists of a cherry brown housing and uses a drop halo stem, but I'm using a polio stem, which is basically the same thing, uh, same mold. These are lubed with a light layer of 205G0, avoiding the legs, and they are filmed with deskies. The important part here is that it uses a lighter spring weight. Here I'm using a 45TX Grim spring, and it causes it to be less tactile pretty much. My preference for tactile switches has always been a more rounded bump. The sharp bumps like the Holy Bobos are just too tiring and too fatiguing to type on. Even when you swap those with a lower spring weight, they still tend to be too tactile for me. These are like the perfect bump. They're in between a P and a D, so it's more of a P but uh, less travel towards the end. For me personally, these are the perfect switch and they sound really nice too. If I were to ever use tactiles, these would be my go-to tactiles for sure. These are also way more affordable than a lot of those other finger switches. Considering browns are about 40 cents a switch and the polias I got on sale on Novel Keys on clearance for about 20 cents. So total about 60 cents, 65 cents a switch, not including shipping or handling or lube or springs or films. But yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll leave you guys with the sound test. <laughs> 